we let them out uh, first thing in the morning about 7.30 when the uh, when the stockman arrives on the on the farm and birds always draw back naturally at dusk so they're back in at dusk and then we close the popholes. the stockman uh, closes the popholes behind them to collect them from um, Mr Fox yeah and then that's there till the following morning they're, they're inside their shirts is that is this kind of area you know adequate or is that, is that normal with, uh... You, you can see from the from the amount of uh, grass there that they've got uh, obviously freedom to roam and they're using that area and grazing from it. The birds aren't just out there for the sun, they're actually grazing on the grass. Each uh, Clarence Court uh, egg has got a blue crown on the uh, top of it and that is a mark of the exclusive heritage and uh, quality of this brand. And they're all sourced from British family-run farms. We also conform to British line standard. This bird egg is a, is a, is a Burford brown with really deep uh, chocolate uh, brown shell. Let's have a look. And the, the yolk is always really nice and bright yellow, isn't it, on these? Look at that, which makes really perfect scrambled eggs. Gives that lovely golden colour. So that's a pheasant egg, which is, I, I think, fantastic for little specialist dishes. So, for example, I, I, early on I picked these pennywort buds from the, uh, the bank there. And what I'm going to do is blanch them uh, rather like asparagus. And um, that would be a perfect thing to serve with the pheasant egg. Because, you know, I think the, the pheasant egg is a specialist sort of luxury egg, really. We quite often do it in the restaurant with... Um, How does the flavour compare? To, uh, say well, it's, it, I would say it's a little bit richer, um, but I think a lot of it is just the kind of, you know, it's not as strong as you would expect an egg from a game bird to be. Um, it's got a lovely size to serve as a little starter. We quite often do it with a little peeled Dublin Bay prawn um, and some sea vegetables. Here we've got the duck egg. What would you do with that? Now, well, duck eggs, again, are great for frying, you know, use a duck egg instead of a hen's egg for breakfast. Really good again for scrambling. Yeah, I, I think with all the eggs, they're all, you know, pretty multi-functional. That's a guinea fowl. Yeah. So we're going to do a mixture of, a mixed scramble. Yeah, I'll probably mix these together so we don't waste any. But the, again, the guinea fowl egg is a bit of a specialist egg. Yeah, the shell is really quite hard on them. You need to give it a good whack. What's the reason for that, Richard? That the because you'd expect the guinea fowl shell to be a bit like the pheasant one, though. I think because it's a, a ground layer, because they actually form a kind of a little uh, almost sand uh, scratch <coughs> for their for their. And they're eggs. quite secret because they run around yeah. like this, don't they? Like yeah. little so I jockeys. Think it's that, mm. and that they need to leave the egg alone when they when they're brooding. Now I'm going to I'm going to blanch these. I, I've never cooked with these before, but pennywort is a really delicious salad leaf, and these were starting to sprout. And these have grown wild? Yep, got these on the bank. So the actual leaf of the pennywort, this leaf here, which you know we use a lot in the restaurant as salad, it's got a lovely crisp flavour to it. So I thought these could be used to rather like asparagus with um, some scrambled eggs. So as, as we've got all these cracked, I'm just going to do a little selection of these eggs scrambled. May as well, as we've got them cracked. Anything else, Chef? No, not do not Why don't you give them a bit of a whisk up? So, yeah, we're going to cook these just for a couple of minutes, just like you would asparagus. They look fantastic, don't they? These. Yeah, they do, gorgeous. Don't they? Beautiful. Okay, great. So, start off with some butter. We're going to do a kind of primitive scrambled egg here. Mark, what would you do with a with a great brute like the rear well, egg? Well, we did this. We served that the other day, and it's really nice as a sharing dish. So what we did is scrambled egg, um, and I put it back in the shell, and I did asparagus soldiers. So it's, you know, it's just spread around on the middle of the table, and uh, people just sort of dipped in and shared it. You know.
So it's interesting that the seeds have got a slightly more bitter flavour than the leaf itself, but I think with the egg it works really well. Have a try. Take a dive in. Yeah. Piece of penny wort. Is this the first time you've... you've... It's the first time I've taken any penny wort. <laughs> first of many, I hope. Mm. That's a nice mix. Mm. They're delicious, actually. 